Good morning, YouTube. Today we're going to be working on a compost brewer system that uh, I've kind of come up with. It's pretty simple. You can see online there's all these Vortex brewers and they charge so much for what they're doing. And I want to show you guys how you can build this so simply and probably for a third of the cost. I looked into those Vortex brewers and they were like 3000 for something similar size, which I thought was insane. Um, you can definitely build one of these under a thousand dollars and this has been the single greatest tool in our farm 180 acre farm for farm fertility uh, with a small amount of good compost you can expand that and get your fields regenerating way faster just by using something like this so I've coined the term farm engine for this it works so well you're able to multiply uh, fungi bacteria so quickly and get it out into the field to have maximum effect on your field. So the first process here is building a shelf to mount the motor. It's pretty simple, you can take any wood. I like a two by six. Real quick also as well, comparing to those Vortex brewers you saw near $5,000, those don't have any recorded scientific effect of being more productive. I took a Lane Ingham soil food health class. It was a $5,000 soil course and there was no benefit and the reason I chose a bottom or a cone shape and the air coming below is that there's no negative space so you can't have anaerobic bacteria creating uh, bad conditions that over time will destroy your compost tea and then actually make give you a negative benefit when you throw it out on your field. So this is the cheapest way I, I found to get the same benefits with uh, apparently a fifth of the cost. We got the base complete, so now we can mount the motor and then we can align all the tubes directly from that. If you're gonna build with a 150 gallon tank, unless you wanna do something smaller, I'd highly recommend the two horsepower. It just gives it enough power so it doesn't overheat compared to the one horsepower I started out with my first model. PVC is so forgiving, so when I'm taking these measurements, you don't have to be exact as and it just gives you an idea so you can start cutting and then you can do final adjustments these are the pvc pipes or parts you're going to need you need a 90 two slip joints two inches one coupler a t a reducer to three quarter and then a barbed female adapter all two inch and then a one stick of 10 foot pvc So the first step in putting all these pipes is putting the thread together. Make sure it's watertight. It's gonna be really hard to come back to this, so you wanna ensure it's gonna be leak proof. And then I set up basic, my basic layout of how it's gonna look. I'll put a list of all the parts and pieces in the description below. Once you have the layout, just start with putting things together. And that way you can have an idea of what to glue. Don't glue right away. I put the primer on before I glue, and then I put everything together. To give me an idea. I did make a mistake while I was making this video, I got too carried away with the camera, and I did have to uh, replace a slip joint. Uh, once I glued it, I couldn't get uh, the adapter part out. So just start out simple, connect things together, see how they uh, fit, what, if you need to cut things or make them smaller, now you have time for forgiveness. Measure twice and cut once. The reason I use two slip joints is so it gives me access to clean out. It's super important every time you use this compost brewer, you religiously you need to use a power washer and build up and get rid of any of the build up because that'll create anaerobic conditions and over time ruin your compost tea. Once we got everything glued in place, the last thing is to put a brass bib on the on the end. And that's where we can use as a drainage if you ever need to. When you're pumping out of the compost tea brewer, I really recommend using a pump, just a sump pump, put it in there. It's gonna be a lot easier. And that's how I build a compost tea brewer for a fifth of the cost of one of these fancy machines. It's gonna bring so much fertility back to the farm and it's super simple. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be sharing secrets on what I use and put in the composting brewer so you get the most effective brew every time, costing you pennies as well.